that time. We've been live for five seconds. I'm bad at counting down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it Not wouldn't good. be us if we didn't do it that way. Exactly. Wait for my... Oh! <sighs> Hold. Hold. We are live, by the way. I'm saying hold for no reason. There we go. Now we're live. Now it's popping up. Let's start with introductions. Uh, first and foremost. Uh, never mind. That's big dumb. We don't need. Uh, feet. All right. What's uh? Oh, I see. You weren't on the um. Yeah. All right. Oh, podcasting. That's the one we want. I put us on the live stream, which is blank. We want this one. Oh wow! You actually have a viewer. We have uh three viewers now. Uh, welcome well, everyone I'm... to the Soft Boy Social. I'm your host Ian Cook, the softest and the most social of all the soft boys, uh, that happen to be social. Uh, I'm joined today by fellow soft boys. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, top soft boy, you know who you are. I am Dustin. I am the softest of socials, even more softest and socialist than 
Ian. Mm -hmm. uh, he just doesn't believe me. Um, yeah. That's wild. Oh, yeah. Soft boy, and he's a socialist too. You next, there, boy. Crumb. Crumb. Hey. Crumb. You already know me. You are last episode. No, you don't. No, they don't. What a <laughs> no. what a bad intro. You better give yourself a real intro if you want to come back. Subscribe to my channel. Fuck you. <laughs> that's um, it. That's your intro. Partique. That's it. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah. Partique. I'm the minority the real... of the group. The I bring the spice of life in oh, here. Yeah. He is the minority. That is true. He carries dead bodies in his free time. Uh. Oh, yeah, Wait, that is that my gag? Is that really what I'm? That's I your like bit. Gag. That's that's, <laughs> that's your, your bit. bit. Um, look, why are we why are we soft? Now that's a great question. Uh, we're soft because we're not hard. Pretty sure Polar is hard. Mm, I am always hard, but <laughs> I am a soft social. That's a lot of energy that's coming towards me, and I'm not sure I like it. That's right. Do I have to refer to you as Dustin? I don't, I don't care. Dustin, it's call polar. me Polar or Dustin. It doesn't it's matter. It's always going to be Polar in my heart. Yeah, same. Wow, what bad friends. Not even willing to. All right, I'll call I don't want to use my real name. I don't want to confuse the audience. It's all right, Crumb. <laughs> but I'm, I am Crumb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not That's the name you prefer? That is the name I prefer. Yeah. Crumb. He's a tale teller. That is, that is that is my name. All right, all right. Let's move on from introductions. <laughs> this shit's gonna be half the fucking episode. We've been we've been going um for uh, about seven minutes. Oh, thank that you, work? thank you that work? for the Twitch Prime. It is much appreciated. Ooh, we are you affiliated. Dog? I am affiliated, dog. You are. You're oh. not affiliated. How did you get affiliated? <laughs> How did you? <laughs> Working my ass off, brother man. What do you mean? How did I get affiliated? You got five viewers. How did you get affiliated? I usually cap out at ten. All right, all right. I didn't eat, know you had. Eat to my ass! Level. I don't have to explain well, this to yeah, you. I, I, I thought you could hey, get affiliated Connor. to earn like the hundreds. All right. No, that's partner. You can't get partner until you have. 70. Oh, okay. You have to okay. pull an average of seventy-five viewers to get partnered. That's the nice okay. goal. All right. Well, I didn't know that. Yep. But thank you for the congratulations. Yeah. Uh, today on the Soft Boy Social, I was lazy and I didn't come up with a plan for what we'd be talking about. Uh, that's on me. The only thing we have for sure is Tinder. Uh, and we also have an outright ban on uh, discussing Fortnite uh, because it's gross and that's what they want us to do. And so we are not going to do that. Yes. Fortnite is out of the question. It's not something we're talking about. From this point forward, we will not say the word Fortnite anymore. Come forth the night. All right, you're on thin fucking ice. <laughs> thin fucking ice. <laughs> but I had to do it. What? No, no real soft boy wouldn't. No, yeah. Let's take um. No, I have it. Let's um. Let's do a Q and A with the uh, a Q and A. Well, man, that yeah. was a great <laughs> idea. Except there's five of them. Hey, that's enough. And I'm sure. I'm sure most of those are us, actually. <laughs> God, what a bad! It's gonna be so bad to upload well, this one to YouTube because well, I don't have. I'm a... sure some of them have um questions, so that's something we can do. Well, he, right. there's a question: What made us discover we're soft boys? Uh, yeah, that's the first Dustin, question. you actually you go ahead and answer this one because I have to think about that for a hot second. What's a I, soft boy? Hold on, you have to you have to think about it, and I don't. Is that is that how this is going? Yes, dude, I, you're always so I quick just, on your feet. I just know what to say. Uh, all right, well, shit. Uh, what made me realize I was a soft boy social? Um, well, just the soft well, actually, boy. The social comes later. Oh, just just being a soft boy. Yeah. Uh, you know, man. It's it's just it's just being able to admit that you are a human being. You know what I mean, dog? You know you. We all got tears coming down our eyes, right? Right, Crumb? You know? Oh, yeah. And and there ain't nothing wrong with us crying. There ain't nothing wrong with us talking about feelings, all right? That ain't bad. Society tells us to be hard boys. But we really just need more boys? soft boys. I don't Is know. That's what that's, I signed up for? 
I didn't that's know my personal. Boy. That's that's my own definition. I don't, so I don't soft know. Soft boys are just all... just pussies. So. Connor, all right, all right, all right. Connor, you're cruising for a prison, bro. I'm you're cruising out. for a bruising, bro. See, see, <laughs> your toxic masculinity needs to oh stop. Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> But he does what he's what we're basically saying um, is that a lot of people see the soft boy as like a real piece of shit. Sir, urban dictionary like, definition. Like there is, and I don't like it. Um, no. The <laughs> urban like basically a lot of people see soft boys as due to like. Um, and when I say people, I mean Vice News because Vice okay. News wrote an article about us, um, and I say us as in there's like us as in they use the term soft boy. Um, I like the guys in those harems I've seen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, no, he, no, that's exactly what he's talking about. Yeah, yeah. Is it's yeah. the dudes use the term soft boy when they're trying to claim clout and be like, oh, I'm so in touch with my emotions. I'm such a soft boy. Like, blah blah blah. Oh, dude, girl, you gotta like me because I'm so in touch with my emotions. And it's like, no, dude, you're just a piece of shit. Like straight up, like you're just a piece of shit trying to take advantage of like women through your emotions. So you're actually a scumbag. When it's like the soft boy that we're trying to portray here on the podcast is like um, just dudes who are in touch with their emotions, not trying to take advantage of people, just trying to like better themselves, be in touch with their emotions and like basically spread this idea that it's okay for um, guys to talk about their mental health and shit, you know, because like in other countries, I don't know if it's such a big deal. I haven't I haven't really been to other countries because I'm poor. Um, but in America, there's a big problem with dudes not being able to talk about their mental health because it's like, oh, that's fucking dumb, dude. That's a pussy thing to do. Good guys don't do that. That's a, you're a pussy, bro. And it's like, bro, I will fucking throw hands with any man who comes at me. And it's like, yo, bro, you're a pussy for talking about your feelings. Like, I might be a pussy, but I'm gonna try to lay you out, and then we'll see. And it's like, I don't know, dude. Shit pissing me off. But that's what that's the soft boy we're trying to go for. That's Thank you it. for coming to our TED Talk. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk, my TEDx. I could never get a real TED Talk. <laughs> um so you there you go. People at TED Talk. Am I a, am I a soft boy? I don't know, are you? Are you? Are you? No. Then then, then why the <laughs> fuck are you on the fucking podcast? <laughs> I'm you <laughs> if that's the definition of a soft boy then uh, no a guy who is comfortable with talking about his fucking feelings yes then no why aren't you comfortable talking about your feelings uh i'm good all right, dog. That's fair. That's fair. I'm not. We're not. We don't come on the podcast to try to make people talk that's about their fine, feelings, though. dog. That's that's fine. That's valid, dog. You do you. All right. You do whatever you feel is necessary to help you get through the day. All right, dog. All right. Everyone's everyone's been introduced. Oh, Patik, what about you? Why are you soft boy? Why am I a soft boy? Yeah. Honestly, don't know how to answer that. I'm just me. I do what I want. So, so actually, I I do have a question on the on the subject of like, we're kind of getting into this one a little early, but on the subject of like men's mental health and stuff, Bartik, um, you obviously come from a much different background than like I do, or even like Polar or, or um, Crumb does. So like, what coming from like your background and your culture, what's that difference been like, if if any real difference? Uh, well, y you see, every year I go to India and I see, like, hardcore third country shit. Yeah. Fair. So, like, some conflicts we have here in the U.S. makes me cringe a lot comparatively what's occurring in the rest of the world. Because I've been to, like, India, Malaysia, Philippines, Pakistan, Nepal, even, like, Japan, China. And over there, it's, like, completely different, like, the stuff they face comparatively to us. Like, here in California, especially, like, when we talk about uh, gender rights and then, like, 
the whole spectrum of gender uh, equality. It's funny to me that we're able to talk about that stuff here. In India and st shit like that, we haven't even gotten to the point where women are equal to men. And it's like, you're already... Yeah? I what mean, we're not I, even I, at I, that I, point in, here in our own country, so like... The, I, the minimum wage in India is 60 cents, just to put that in perspective. So people survive on like $1.50 a day. Hmm. What? That's heavy. How do you, how do you, yeah, that is hard. So why is it bad? Is it not, is it bad to not be a soft? No. All right, that's a good. That's a really good question, actually. All right, let me close the water bottle lid here. All right. <clears throat> so, something that's important to know about being a soft boy is that soft boys don't go to other dudes and be like, "Oh, yo, bro, bro, you're not talking about your feelings. What are you, a pussy?" Because that's like, <laughs> that's exactly the kind of shit that we're trying to stop. You know what I mean, like. Mm -hmm. It's it's okay to not talk about your feelings. Like no one is gonna try. Nobody should try to force you to talk about your feelings until you're ready to talk about them. But at the same time, the soft boys are just trying to, at least in this group, just trying to show people that it is okay to talk about your feelings and that people shouldn't feel pressured or like under some sort of like uh, level of scrutiny, basically, to not talk about them. If that makes sense. Speaking hmm. volumes, brother. I feel. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. I saw a video once about um, a guy who traveled around, and he one of his favorite things to do was travel the world. But the reason he did that is because everywhere he went, he wasn't attached to the person he was before, and so he didn't have any sort of conditioning towards be having to uphold a certain type of person he was a completely new person everywhere he went and that was how people viewed him now it's very difficult to change who you are where you come from because people have this view of you so that does prove like I don't. I feel that's related in some way. I'm confused on. I. I don't. I don't know. I'm just confused on what you you mean. So like, let's say. Yeah. If you if you're an extremely shy person. Yeah. And you've lived your entire life as a shy person. Mm-hmm. Everyone, your family, your friends, everyone you know sees you as that shy person. Yes. But in reality, what you want to be is an outspoken and outgoing person. Yes. Well, I mean, not necessarily. No, he's just giving the example no, of one example. person, yeah, like a variable. Someone... Yeah, of a variable. Oh. It's, it's someone okay, that okay. wants to be like, different than who they what? are can't change because people are going to view them as wrong for changing. It, it's kind of like stereotypes. Like, it, it always shocks me when I ask people, what does the word stereotype mean? And they don't even actually know the right answer. The, so stereotype actually means a repetition or pattern. So when someone says that's a stereotype, it means that's a pattern seen on a broad spectrum. So like that's what uh, Crumb is trying to get at. Like w once you be uh, fall into that pattern, people then think of it as a stereotype and want to continue that pattern. Listen, they can't listen change. very closely to me, gentlemen. There is a big dog downstairs that my family is considering adopting. And I love dogs. So I'm going to leave the podcast in your hands <laughs> for just a few moments. I got to go see it. I got to go meet All right. this dog. All right, All right, dog. Go meet that dog. Thank you, dog. Yeah. So back to my thought. Yeah, I think if to come out or to transition into being a soft boy is would change how people view me in such a way that I don't want to be viewed that way. Yeah. 
it would change the image I have presented and built for myself. Yeah. Okay. Whether or not I want to be a soft boy doesn't matter because it would affect the image I have going. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's clear to me. Yeah. Okay. But then I gotta ask you, how can you change your image if you do want to change it? See, that's that's what I'm talking about. It's like you it's really either difficult to change and you're going to either face rejection or you're just not going to change. That's why um, I bring up the story about the guy who enjoyed traveling because every new place he went, he was the perfect personification of what he wanted to be because he was starting over. Yeah, because no one knew yeah. him. So no he could him, yeah. restart. Mm -hmm. I think it's interesting thinking about like how our social groups change how we act. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's been shown in, like, psychology that every seven years, your whole friend group changes. And, like, you change as a person. Mm. It's weird. It's, it's, it's weird. Uh, um so that said we'll keep it we'll keep it rolling yeah we're um keep the, the chat, chat as going. We'll, well we'll what we'll talk about now that's kind of related to to what we've already said um so I, every seven years you've said that our our friend groups changes have, have you guys experienced that no have you experienced a change yeah. in the overall like um I have attitudes of your friends yes absolutely i've seen everyone change to some extent but i have definitely not had an influx well i've had influxes but i've never had not had the same friends okay okay H have you felt like you've changed at all yes though i will say that was very difficult at one point to do so Okay, okay. Why do you think you changed? Why do you think we change as, as people? Just different as, as human beings. You gain more experiences and you adapt towards the experiences you gain. And sometimes you find something that you'd prefer to do rather than what you're doing now. Or something that your mind latches onto. Okay, okay. Um, so you're saying it's more of a kind of like the people that we're around. I, I think it's built on. It, it's a lot of things. Cause now you go to the uh, conversation of nature versus nurture. Like, is it your genes that control the type of person you become or is it your environment? And if it's a mixture of both, what constitutes more? So then mm -hmm. you're going in depth of like education, background, history, events, etc. So these are all things that make you the person you are today. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Anything else you guys uh, want to talk about? Anything in particular? I have no idea what to talk about now. All right. All right. Well, I, I want to wait before we move into our, our planned topic until uh, Ian gets back. So I, I guess we'll just kind of stay in on this side. Of things um uh so on the basis of like friend group changing and, and and like us changing as people um have you guys seen other people kind of go through that um uh, like go through something that's very similar as to like what you've gone through like i know connor you've said that your friend friend group has pretty much stayed the same but i know people like what like david Right? Used to be in your friend group, right? What happened to him? Like, 
Like, did it, did the friend group kind of pull away from him, or did he kind of pull himself away, or was it kind of a mix? I think it was a mixture of both. I yeah, think I, I feel like it, it has them. to be both because, like, for me, I left the group at sophomore year, but I always like kept in touch. Yeah. So, like, you can even ask Connor. At one point, I wasn't even with them for like a whole two years. Yes. Yeah, and why why did you do that specifically, Pratik? Why was there a reason for doing that, or did it, was it just kind of how things yeah. happened? Yeah. So for me, what it was was uh, we didn't have enough in common at school that kept us together, in my opinion. Okay. Like I started taking honors courses, AP classes, all that, and no one in our friend group at that time was into that stuff Honestly? so i started meeting new people and then so what has changed to bring you back like what what has changed in the last couple of years that's that's kind of yeah. the thing for me was i didn't want to lose my friends like connor justin nick i i like those guys like we had stuff in common and we did have fun so I, I took it upon myself to try to get back in touch and stuff like that. So okay, I would like okay. try to go to parties with them. I try to do events and slowly that's how we started getting back in touch. So okay. Okay. It, it kind of has to work both ways for you. Connor, were you going to say something? I was going to say that um, the only reason I probably stayed in touch with the friends I had was because I had nowhere else to go. Mm -hmm. And it was just pure um, stubbornness to not leave. Okay, okay. Like, there wasn't a reason for me to stay. For a while, I looked for alternatives, but I never found an alternative. So, Why, why were you looking for alternatives? Is there a reason? Um, I just didn't know what I was doing at the time. Okay. So, with that said, um, do you think it's important in our social lives for us to kind of have these these waves of like getting new friends or you know kind of straying away from our friend groups and meeting new people, um, or do you think it's better for us to just kind of stay in our comfort zone? I think it's important to look, I, I think it's important to just be friendly to everyone. And, you know, some okay. people you're, are just going to be friendly back to you and you'll just happen to have to see where that goes. But don't, don't leave anyone behind, but just accept that you're going to meet new people by yeah. being a friendly person. Yeah. All right. All right. Partig, what do you think? No, oh, I, I feel he's definitely right. Like, if you stay, stay genuine and honest to, like, who you are, you're going to attract that those kind of people. And that's, like, your friends that you're going to make. Yeah. End of uh, the day, it's, pr it's pretty much that simple, dude. You, you get what you... Uh, get like what you put in the world is what you can get out of it yeah yeah that's uh, I can definitely understand that um okay okay um so with that said do you think that um so kind of we're we're kind of all at this transitional phase right between college and high school and, and um obviously this is a pretty notorious time for people kind of changing mm -hmm. um do you think that like like for example like myself right in high school i was a very social person um and now that i'm in college i've feel much more inclined to kind of stick to my own stuff now, now that said I, I i have been making more of an effort to be social because i think having a social life is 
fairly important to your mental health yeah. um to one with one one you know one way or another um but i feel far more inclined to be kind of more comfortable with my own group than i am to kind of branch out all the time like i was in high school um, has that kind of been paralleled with you guys i mean what's what's that paralleled been like for you reverse. guys i was reversed. so okay reserved in high school that i regret the entire experience i had okay and so coming out of high school i was always looking for an opportunity to try and make up for the things that i missed okay and so i was extremely show social and extremely um like pushing I, I don't want to say pushing but i was definitely looking for more opportunity with people i wouldn't have otherwise socialized with before i stopped i stopped caring for who i was talking to and yeah was friendly to everyone yeah um so why like <sighs> all right i'm back by the way what oh all right sweet all right so we're we're talking about uh um, friend groups the, friend uh, groups and like kind of the big transitional phase of like when you move to college or when you when you kind of leave high school a lot of people change true, um, true. specifically right now um like for example, when I went to college, I went from being a fairly like social, well-known person to being a fairly, I, I want to say like, not necessarily quiet, but more like, I'm I'm not gonna hesitate if I see an opportunity to just kind of sit and do things on my own. Um, and for Connor, it's very much like the opposite. Like he, he went from being a fairly like reserved person in high school to wanting to just kind of branch out and we're just talking about our own experiences with that kind of stuff and why we think we did that why we think this is happening or has happened yeah no, that makes sense um yeah no, I, I don't know. It um, it definitely. I, I get what you're saying. It's definitely. It's definitely a change and like an experience. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Well, you go from this this constant like social environment in high school to being kind of expected to to figure out when you're gonna socialize on your own. You know, rather than having this. Yeah, I'm gonna go to lunch and talk to these people, and you know, having this daily routine. My, I always had a, I don't know, I, I had a weird high school experience because I hated lunch, um, which sounds edgy because it's like, oh, sad boy didn't have no friends, he didn't like lunch, but it's like, I just hated lunch because it's like, I hated the lunchroom because there were always so many people and it fucked with my anxiety. I just didn't like large crowds and... That's understandable. So, like, the lunchroom was, like, the worst place for me. So, eventually, like, my sophomore year, uh, I joined... I joined the debate team freshman year, but sophomore year I ended up like really joining the debate team and like really hitting hard and like focusing on the debate team. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I started just eating my lunch in the debate room while I practiced and stuff, which like at first it was just me. So it was like, all right, cool. It's just me. I can do this. I can practice. No worries. And then other debate kids realized, oh shit, we can eat lunch in the debate room and not worry about the lunch room. And so I, mm -hmm. I just like by the end of my sophomore year and the start of my junior year, I had I was back to the original problem that there was like tons of people in the debate room now eating lunch, also practicing. <laughs> Which I mean was great and cool for the debate team because everyone was like able to practice more. But for me, it was like this was not the intended this was not the intended effect of me coming up here. You know what I mean? But I think that yeah. also is why I, I think that that change and like the eating up in the debate room. And then letting other people come in and like having other people come in and join me is part of what helped kind of help. I don't want to say help to get rid of my anxiety because it's not gone. Obviously, it's hard to just straight up get rid of anxiety if that's possible. But it's definitely helped me. Um, it, it's definitely helped me get over a lot of problems. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if that makes sense. 
I understand that, yeah. All right. All right. Okay. So, um, is there anything more we wanted to say on that? Or did we want to. A hook? What do you mean? Like a I feel like a like we need to like move a out hook? of this. Um, no, I feel like we need to move out of this. Um, uh, topic. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this was honestly just something I was trying to keep we us talking just, about until to... Ian was yeah. back. Like that was the point. That's oh, that's. No. I wasn't actually trying to like talk about this for an extended period of time. God. No. Yeah. Please, I'd rather go back to the broccoli and kale. <laughs> oh, we're not talking so, about fuck broccoli and kale. So people in chat have no idea what we're talking about. I was talking about what we talk about today on the agenda, or like what we would talk about during the podcast. And one of these, I think it was, was it you, Dustin? Was it you that was like, oh, we'll talk about, we'll talk about agriculture and broccoli and kale. And then no, you guys no, actually. No, somebody brought up organics and yeah. I said, organics are stupid. And. And then, uh, and then he started talking about broccoli and kale and fucking GMO. Crumb. Yeah. Oh, yeah, crumb. Because it's a big deal and people are dumb about it. I, we are not going to talk about GMOs and broccoli and kale. I don't understand kale. why we can't. Can educate the audience on why it's dumb to think GMOs are bad for you. It, it is dumb, but nobody in my chat thinks that GMOs are bad for you. <laughs> well, then allow we're essentially arguing, anyway. we're arguing to it's... a captive audience that agrees. Yeah, we're exactly. We're arguing to a captive audience that already agrees. I'll tell you what. The moment someone in chat, unironically, so not ironically, I see you, chat, unironically goes, nah, bro, GMOs are bad for you. I'll let you go to town on that motherfucker, okay? I promise you. <laughs> I promise. I could also talk about why I think it's dumb that people think fruit is unhealthy. You shut your mouth, Winsings. <laughs> What, wait, who the fuck? Hang on, now we are going to talk about this. Who thinks fruit is unhealthy? Who has said Having, this to you? Because I work at a juice and coffee bar. Okay, uh, well, all right. Stuff. Bougie. So, people do not... In the time I've spent making smoothies and juices, people try, and, and it depends on the, how white they are, but generally... <laughs> oh, like, so whoa. it's a race oh, it's thing, huh? Why is it white? Thing, yeah. Because... No, generally no one else cares except white moms. But oh, so it's not white moms. Shut up, let him speak. <laughs> Asshole. Um, we <laughs> think fruits are bad for you because they have sugars in them. All right. And that yeah, that's, that, that's, that's really their whole argument. Um, and I don't understand because there's natural sugars which are not bad for. you. They're actually good for you. There's a lot of good things in fruit. What fruit do for you? But I think it's they'll they'll stare at the menu for like ten minutes trying to figure out all the things they can replace the fruit with. Even carrots have too much sugars in them. Carrots aren't even fruit, dog. That's a fucking I know. vegetable. <laughs> I know. They they Wait, avoid. Wait, did I everything. hear you correctly? Wait, did you just say they'll argue that they have too much juice in them? Too much sugars. Oh, okay. I was like, what, what do you mean they have too much juice in them? You're here for the juice. <laughs> Say, I'm sorry. It's just upsetting because I think fruits are delicious and to them, if it doesn't have kale and spinach and cucumber, then it's not a proper drink. If they can't drink it and, and get on a soapbox while they're drinking it, then it's not healthy. <laughs> That's that's kind of how it works with some of these people, unfortunately. At least in their heads, that's how it works for them. It's fucking stupid, honestly. It's dumb. it's extremely dumb. Did you get? Do you guys remember when that article was published about the chair that would stop man spreading? Yes. Yes. Okay. My, I had a family reunion. Oh, okay. And we were talking about um, men and women. And I brought up this chair, and my entire family was like, "Oh, that's a great idea." I'm tired what? of men spreading their legs. <laughs> Wait, well, see, see, I feel like this is something that women need to understand, right? Imagine having a cock and balls in your fucking armpit, all right? You're not going to have your armpit closed all the time. That's uncomfortable, and especially when you're trying to sit down and relax, it's the last thing you want to do. 
So man spreading is stupid. Yeah. Now, now that now, said, hold on, wait a minute. Now, there, there, are, there are, there are. No, all right, all right, I'll let you go. I'll let you go ahead. I'll let you now, go ahead. now, now, there are guys that just want to spread their legs because they're fucking dicks, right? Mm -hmm. But I think the large majority of the male population that have penises, uh, we we try to sit comfortably without invading other people's space yeah. on purpose, anyway. I, right, like I think that's that's a, that's a fairly normal human beings. I agree. Like, it's but it's it's what we do. You shouldn't the problem, need a chair. The problem with man spreading, right, is that people say, all right, like what you just said, right? Uh, Dustin is like, oh, man spreading is stupid and it doesn't exist. Well, it does exist, but it exists in circumstances where human beings are pieces of shit to each other. Case in point, the fucking subway system. I don't know if you motherfuckers yeah. ride the yeah. subway, but that is a cesspit of inhuman decency. No motherfucker goes, <laughs> nobody goes on the subway and is a decent human being. Like, I don't know what happens, but you like, you walk down the steps into a subway system and God loses track of you and you're a fucking demon. Like, God so, can't see below the subway system. Okay? Do you then support man spreading chair? Man spreading reduction chairs on the subways. Honestly, yes, because every single mother there needs to be like, honestly, I support police officers on subways because subways are fucking cesspits, my man. All right, like I have seen some. I, of the I feel like the public shit. bus system is fairly similar to. Dude, like here's what I'm talking about when I say man spreading on the subway too. I mean, I saw a dude on the subway. Who it's like? I mean, this subway train was fucking packed, dude. I was in Boston, Massachusetts. I was uh, I was competing uh, nationally, and this dude on the fucking subway was taking up like four seats by spreading his legs. How like, big was he to begin with? How was he taking up four seats? He had his legs spread, and then he had he was doing this thing where his knees were like pointed towards each other, and his legs were spread out, like taking up even more room than if he was just normally sitting. Like, this dude was 100% intentionally like, nobody will find a seat on this fucking subway. <laughs> no one. Like, I'm going to occupy this whole side of the train car. Hmm. And it's so like, he just sounds like a dick. He was a yeah. dick, but it's like, that shit happens, like, on the bus, too. Here's what I'm trying to say. I have a question. Is... <clears throat> What's up? Why don't women spread their legs? Why know. is it only men that? That's why we issue. need a woman to come on this podcast. We have questions. <laughs> we do, but that said, it would be kind of weird because it we are the soft boy social, so maybe we'd have to change our name a little bit. Ah, that's fine. <laughs> All right, but here's my thing. Uh, you know, I thought that was gonna be funny, and now I just feel stupid. <laughs> so I'm gonna act like I didn't say that. I didn't say that. They didn't come out of what my fucking. You call them mouth. soft girls. Soft girl social, dude. That. That's just regular girls. Stop. Oh, no. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. What? Buzzique. I don't know what he. What was he trying to say? I don't know. He was talking. It was something. Being sexy. He knows exactly what I was trying to say. Yeah, I do. He was I being like said, it. yo. We're not being sexist on this fucking. We're not sexist. We're that's, just stupid. That's not what we're yeah. doing. Dog. That can I change the title to "We're not sexist. We're just stupid." I'll be honest with you. I'm a little I, retarded. I, dog. I I feel like that's not that's not the message we want to convey about ourselves. <laughs> we're not sexist. We're just stupid. <laughs> I feel like by saying we're not sexist, it inherently imply, implies we you are sexist. being sexist. That's fair. Yes. Fuck we are. Fuck the subway, man. I'm honestly stuck on that. What's the worst public transportation? The subway. Subway, subway definitely. I've been on a subway. I, no... I've only ever ridden fucking public transportation in Seattle, like, a lot um when i was younger and i'll tell you what you see some fucking weird people in public transit dude this this one motherfucker was sat next to my mom and i and he he was like you know when they go to concerts and people pull up their lighters and he like fucking pulled out his lighter and turned that shit on he was like you see that and I was like, yeah. And he's like, that's the devil. And I was like, what the fuck? Yo, what the fuck? Did that really happen to you? 
<laughs> yeah, I'm not playing, dog. That shit happened. And I felt so fucking scared, dog. I thought I was gonna get fucking stolen and, like, sacrificed to fucking Lucifer or some shit. But, like, public transportation is China. fucking China weird, is dude. Like, there's just so much bullshit that happens on transportation. Like, uh, it's something else. Anyway. Hmm. Uh, huh. What do you know? Well, you know. Hey, what do you know? What do you know? Hey, look at this fucking cat. <laughs> That's gotta be our meme, meme of the fucking stream, dude. The fucking the cat. Look at hey, Vinny. Look at this fucking cat outside. What I'm talking about. I do know you're talking about. Uh, yeah, but, so we gotta play it at the end. But I don't know, man. The whole thing just seems. Fucked, to be honest with you. Like, yeah, like, yeah, man spreading is a thing. It sucks. If you're on a fucking subway or a bus or any kind of public transportation that I somehow didn't just list with those two things, and you've got your legs We're spread and the shut up and the and the fucking <laughs> that was really mean. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Connor. <laughs> I don't know why that was a knee-jerk reaction. I just heard a voice, and I was like, yeah, tell him to shut up. <laughs> but just just don't spread your fucking legs. Just be a decent fucking human being. And if you do spread your legs, make sure you're not invading someone else's space. Yeah, it's really Or implying that people can't sit next to you. Like, mo to be honest with you, most subway rides are at most 30 minutes. Like, if you're going somewhere really far in a subway, why? Why are you doing that to yourself? <laughs> Have yeah. Some, have some self-respect. All right. Like, shill out some cash for a fucking cab. Pro I tr promise me you will. Someone trust me. All right. Like, mm, it's rough, buddy. Having said that, you, you live in 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 the south, right? Get a, yes. get a fucking Uber. Yes. Yeah. Having said that, just don't spread your fucking legs. Just don't invade. Do you other have people's subways places. down there? No. I, when I went, I'm talking about when I went up to Boston. When, uh, when you were in Boston. Yeah. How many subways did you end up taking? Uh, we took a subway every day. You did? Okay. Yeah, we, we took a subway to get pretty much everywhere. And if we didn't take a subway, we walked. Yeah, that's all transportation in Boston. Uh, what about the people who put their feet up on the seats? Now, do oh, you mean... Oh, that's disrespectful, on. dog. Do you mean the people who put... Do you mean the people who sit like L from Death Note? Like, with, like, standing in the seat? Because those people are yeah. freaks, but they're, they're not invading anybody other's, like... Space, no, so no, like I think he's talking spot. about like taking up two spaces because your feet are up on. Oh, you're no, a fucking no. piece of shit. That's yeah, shit. that's fucking disrespectful. That's disrespectful. Shit, you're a piece of shit. Don't do that. That's gross. People have to clean that shit. People have to sit there for the rest of the day. You're you gonna get no your dirty ass cleaning. shoes. No one's cleaning that. That's no, exactly. <laughs> that makes it even say, worse. Nobody's cleaning the subway. All right, buddy. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> Dude, I read on the stu on the subject of su of subways. I read a story recently about a girl who suffers from, um, about who a, about a girl who suffers from schizophrenia, right? And she mm -hmm. talks about getting lost in the New York subway during a schizophrenic episode. Oh, holy oh, shit, dude! Like, she talks At about that point... she talks about bumping into like underground colonies of people and shit, like. And I'm like, dude, how much of this is schizophrenic episode and just how much of this is underground New York? Yeah. Schizophrenia is fucking insane. My um my stepdad, the the my fucking mom was married to, used uh or used to be married to, had fucking schizophrenia. And that motherfucker would tell me some of the shit he would see. He said one time he he was looking at me. Little eight year old Dustin, and he said there was little fucking demons and shit like ripping my eyeballs out and shit. I said, Holy Jesus. He was saying, he was seeing what? Just a normal day. Yeah. yeah, he was just like, yeah. Honestly. And and I, I knew it was a, I knew it was a trip. Like he didn't, he didn't think it was real. But, um, like the fact that people have fucking see shit like that is fucking yeah. just. That's when your frontal lobe is overactive. Yeah. That's like that. That's um, that's the part of the brain that handles, uh. I might I might be wrong about this. Feel free to correct me. And I'm, I'm this is the internet, so I'm sure someone will. Um, but I believe that is the part of the brain that deals with like recognizing patterns and shit. Uh, from when we no is it not? no that's your cerebellum. 
cerebellum is uh, like actual patterns frontal is the first time you see something and recognizing it thankfully partik is a neuroscience major so he knows all about brain thank you thank you resident doctor very cool please laugh or it's racist <laughs> fuck you guys <laughs> Big brain time. Big brain time. Please laugh. Biggest of please bra. Laugh. Please laugh for it's racist. I'm never gonna get a good a goddamn job again. I really hope this works out. You're never gonna... Well, we what? love to we love to hire you, but uh, we have a uh, videotape of you <laughs> of you being incredibly racist. <laughs> <It's> like, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Yo, all I'm saying though, all of my doctors or like like professional like health people that i've had like my optometrist is indian dog they're like the most professional people i've ever met like i i i i'm glad i'm not trying to go into that field dog because i'd feel so fucking like intimidated by someone who's of indian descent just seeming more professional than i am i don't know i they, they just seem to know what the fuck they're doing you know yeah yeah, I get that. I got all lots right. of respect for him, all right? That's fair. I I got lots of respect for anybody who's able to do a job like that, though. You know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah. Like, that's a high-intensity like, job. Particularly just because the, like, I feel like, like, my optometrist is from India, and I'm just like, man, like, man really went from India to to America working probably one of the better jobs in the country. And he's been my optometrist for years, you know? So, like, really, really out here moving up the ladder, you know? At least at least that's how it seems. I, I I don't know how things are really in India. It's not like I've fucking gone to India. I'm not the Indian in this fucking Punjabi in this fucking... Uh, yeah. No, India's a shithole right now. There oh, we go. So, <laughs> the minister of india actually had a conference last week and they were talking about the gdp so that's the gross domestic product rates and everything and it, it was like negative it, it was in the negatives and it was down like four or five percent and yeah they asked him like why is it like that and he's like he literally brings a chart of movie uh, of, uh how much movies make and he's like, look at how much this movie made just last year. How dare you say our GDP is so low? What he's trying to say is that the Indian national government needs to make a goddamn movie. <laughs> yeah. Big brain time. That's what India's at right now. We're heavily relying on our Bollywood. Your Bollywood. Bollywood. How how will we as a nation survive? <laughs> Bollywood. Dude, do you know how many movies they make a day? They just pump that shit out. <laughs> Yo, there's a reason why T series beat fucking PewDiePie. Shut up! No, they did it. <laughs> It was just Indian propaganda that they beat him. Yeah, exactly. YouTube, they paid YouTube. What? They Partique. paid YouTube to lie to us. Partik, I have a question. Did you say with T-Series or um, PewDiePie? No, I was PewDiePie all the way. Good. Do you like T-Series? Nope. Do you feel like T-Series are a blight on the Indian uh, people? What, what do you mean blight? bad for the Indian people? Do you feel like they're responsible for all of India's problems? Uh, mm, mm. You're gonna get him talking about Gandhi. <laughs> don't stop. Don't start. Don't yeah. start about India's problems. Yeah, mate. We, what we does got... that mean? I've had this conversation with Partik before. Yeah. Let, let's I remember say... distinctly hearing things that were very, very not status quo. Like, not some. Do you, do you know who Gandhi's pen pal was? I'll just say that. No, do you know who he yes. wrote? To? We're not getting in on this, dog. You're right. I should have left it alone. I should have listened, Dustin. I should have left it alone. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Switch it up. Switch. 
<laughs> yeah. Click Can we switch to a language? What? <laughs> Can we not talk about, about linguistics? I just came from my linguistic class. <laughs> what, what language? And I hate I can language. Talk about linguistics all day. What, what language? Shut up, Connor. You haven't sat in a linguistics class. It's painful. What language are you learning? Me? Yes. <laughs> Dog, we ain't talking about a language. We're talking about language. Like phonetics and shit. What have you learned? What was who, your... What, who what did what, Winsings? Who did what? What are you talking about? Are you talking about what I did? Can we switch the language? Because it was me. Yeah. I'm glad somebody got that. That was fucking comedy gold. Was I was gonna gold. act like you didn't say it in that way, cause I didn't know it. I I, oh, I didn't oh, know if you were doing your racist who, thing again. Who was Gandhi's pen pal? No, shut up, Connor. <laughs> no, the chat, the chat wants to know. Go ahead. The chat wants to know. Connor, this is on you. You actually read the letters. Oh, it was Hitler. It's not new and, news. I've I've read the letters. Yeah, and how how does he address every letter? Do you, do you know? I don't know. They're friendly to each other. Yeah. Uh, so Gandhi always starts the letter, "Dear my uh, my good friend." He he doesn't call Hitler by his name. He actually says just my good friend. He does say that. He does. Um. So I do how do we know he was tight? He was sending them to Hitler. Because they were. It wasn't addressed directly to Hitler. Hitler. It was, if it was addressed, addressed to... to my good friend that it wasn't addressed to Hitler. <laughs> <Shut the fuck. laughs> I'm just trying to yeah, think. But hang, like... on, but hang on, wait a minute here. I'm reading these letters. It literally is just Gandhi's like, you are, you are today the one person in the world who can prevent a war. He's like, no, that's, that's a letter. That's a letter, mate. <laughs> you, you know, Gandhi would also, uh, uh no, no, see, you don't want to know okay. as 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 the devout British colonialist in this fucking podcast, you know, I'm not a big Gandhi fan. Yeah, I'll say that, you know, Gandhi was I'm actually kidding. first a lawyer from England. I'm not going to say uh, I, we've had this conversation before. Uh, <laughs> we've had this conversation. I don't know what the fuck to believe. All right. Because on one hand, I want to believe you, Partik, because I think history is a fucking lie, and it's twisted to make people think that, like, one person is better than another, or, you know, is, oh, this is a hero, right? You know, but, like, at the same time, like, I never heard this shit before until I started talking to you, Partik, so, like, I, I don't fucking know what to believe. Dude. But, like, let's uh, look at just the general thing anyone knows. Uh, Gandhi was born in England, and he went to school in England for law. Yeah. Okay. So he was rich, is what you're telling me. He was a rich yeah. son of a bitch. Yeah, he he, he had wealth. So he's the and... true evil. <laughs> he's rich. <laughs> he's the upper class. No, but after what? England, he actually then went to Africa first, where he tried to do his uh, uh, non-violent Why thing. Why does everybody want a piece of Africa? Yeah, well, I don't because know. Because it was it had it was rich in natural resources, and during yeah. the uh, the colonialist era, it was. It was just kind of everybody just grabbed the piece. Like Mother dude. Teresa. I'm not. I don't know. Like no, time hold out. on. Time out. Mother Teresa, first of all, was a shady character. Uh, she had some serious problems, uh, like cow cutting a check for one. But that's neither here nor there. Um, thank you. Uh, that's not my joke. I stole it from ERB. Uh, having said that, a person can still be a bad person. And say something good, okay? Yes. 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 All yeah. right. So it's like when people say, "Oh, we can't acknowledge Gandhi. We can't acknowledge Mother Teresa. We can't do this. We can't do that." That's bullshit, and it's hot garbage. Uh, yeah, but the... where do you draw the line? Where do people? When do people say that? Well, I hear it all the time. People are like, "Oh, we can't. We can't hear what. We can't trust what this person said because, like, oh, they did this and they did that." And it's like, yeah, but where do you draw the line? Because Gandhi was a mob boss, as well as rape multiple women every other day. So where do you draw the line, then? I mean, definitely a scumbag. But, like, I don't know. It's hard to, de it's hard to defend someone who, like you just said, was a mob boss and apparently raped women. Which I'll need a, I'll need a fact check on, by the way. 
But yeah, I'll, dog, I'm gonna I mean, Google uh, that uh, shit. Uh, I'm gonna fact check it because I've never heard that before in my life. Go ahead. It's literally any Punjabi knows this shit. But see, part of me wants to think that that's just like. Kind of like when people say like Napoleon was short, but that man just surrounded himself with tall people. It was just bullshit. Yeah. You know, no, was wasn't Napoleon like five eight? Yeah, Napoleon no, no, Napoleon, like Napoleon five, was. Eight. Napoleon was average. Yeah, he was and, average. And he surrounded himself with tall people, so everybody was like, "Oh, so he's short?" No, no, he's why just, did he surround he's himself average. with tall people? He had I don't know. He, he had a reason. It was something really dumb and it made me laugh, but I don't remember what it is off the top of my head. Um, but but then you also have to take into account that like. England was kind of like at war with him and was like, yo, dog, yo, he's fucking short. Hey, yo, yo, Don't follow how, him. Yo, 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 the man. How, he's two fucking inches shorter than average. You know, like. You see how short this man is? That means he's a bitch. Don't follow him. That's That sounds like England. <laughs> Just saying. They were never very creative with their propaganda. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, it fucking works. Everybody today was like, oh, Napoleon's so short. So yeah. you can't tell me it wasn't fucking effective. That's fair. He does got you. Um, I don't know. We've been going for about uh, about an hour. Um, about an hour, and we've made like no progress anyway. Yeah. What is? What is it's a podcast. What is what progress? Do you mean is, what, do you, what is progress? I don't know. Usually, there's like a topic of choice. Yeah. Yeah, we were gonna talk about Tinder, but then we kept talking. Yeah. About what happened to that? Yo. Let's just. Let's just... All right, if let's... everyone goes quiet for like a minute, we can restart the podcast and we do episode five right now. Shut the yeah. fuck up. Let's go. Let's just go. Come on. Absolutely not. Come on. <laughs> no. Just edit. Uh, just just yeah. cut the two. All right. Yeah. All right. I feel like we're a bunch of goddamn. All right. Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. Racist shit. Got a double dip. All right. Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. <laughs> You gotta ready? pull a tea theories and just pump this stuff out. Pull it to do <laughs> Pump this shit as hard as we can. What's with Yo. you? What's with the pictures? What what are these pictures? Um these are all art done by uh, a good friend of mine yeah. named K. Um and okay. two of them Yeah, are... some of them are cool. Two of them are yeah, from K. Uh I'm I'm doing that. Mm -hmm. Two of them are from Kay. I'm going to ask her real quick. I, I think she's in the chat. Um, if she has any place she would like me to plug or like anywhere people can find her art because she's really good. Um... Uh... And I, I, you know what? We double dipping? We might be double dipping. Uh -huh. All right. Well, hang on. Here we are. Here we go. Here is her Instagram. Um, I'm going to put it in the chat. If you all could just go show her some love and uh, follow her art. That is her Instagram. Uh, she is super... Oh, that ain't a link. <laughs> huh? Put a link. Yeah, come on, man. Come on. You got you to gotta make it easy for us. Well, Instagram yeah. is usually on people's phones, right? Yeah. Yeah, but you can so still put a link. It... I guess. Who here is watching on mobile? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you guys on mobile or are you guys on your computer? Oh. Yeah, see, we okay. got one computer right, go. user. All right, go follow. Go follow, go check out our art. She's really fucking good at art. Do you guys not have phones? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, she said don't phone? repost my art without credit matching. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, credit, Where, yeah where's her yours. credit matching? What do you mean? I literally... just credit her. Yeah, I just credit. I literally have her fucking permission, you monkey boy. <laughs> He's right. Monkey boy? He does. Excuse me. Whoa, I was whoa, talking. I called whoa. Connor the monkey boy. I promise. I promise. Twitch, please don't ban me. I'm not against TOS. Please don't uncalled hurt me. Uncalled for. Uncalled for. All right, look, look, I need a moment to talk with my boys. I'm going to run a real quick, like, one-minute ad. Um, An ad? ad? It helps. <laughs> no, don't report me. I'm not like Connor. I don't like lollies. Don't report me. What? That's not racist. <laughs> <laughs>
You do like lollies. We've established this shit. No, I don't. Talk about it last episode. All right, all right. I'm going to run a one-minute ad. I'm going to talk with the boys about what the plan for the podcast fine. is from this point. Um, we'll be back. Is the ad actually going to play? Yes. People are not watching. Where's the ad? It's a uh, fucking ad. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Sweet, sweet revenue, baby. <laughs> Subway ad. Ooh. All right, but listen. What do we want to do for the... I'm, I'm thinking we just do the... Tinder we have? Oh, yeah, we do. We No, hang on. We'll do the mental health check. We'll finish up with Tinder. Um... Tinder, t- well, like, the whole thing with Tinder is that we were going to talk about, like, hookup culture as well. Live? Yes, we're still live. So this will be in the recording, but it won't be on Twitch. Um, okay. Which is fine. Because I'll run an ad on um, YouTube as well. Yeah, we're going to talk about Tinder. So let's put a structure together. All right. I don't know if we about... got enough fucking time for a structure, five, five, Connor. Five seconds. Five seconds. We got... five seconds. Five, uh, five seconds. Mental health check, uh, Tinder. Oh, wait, we need to redo the intros. And welcome back no. to the Soft Boy Social. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> welcome back. I hope you all found that to be enjoyable. Um, um, hope you guys like... enjoyed last episode. Yeah. Nothing no, we're like not the... starting a new episode. We're, just we're not starting a new episode? No. That was the point of that whole run. With the just to figure out what we were talking about, you freaking Mongol. Are you gonna make a two-hour episode? What do you mean a two-hour episode? <laughs> Let's go! Come on, two hours, easy. Let's try hit four. I I have my shit together. It's these monkeys that don't. <laughs> You're the We've already monkey. caught. We figured out what. Oh my god, this is disastrous. All right, look. All right, mental health check. I'm red right now because I'm Me- being bullied. Mental health <laughs> check. <laughs> Um, What's on mental health check? What's on mental let's health? Do the mental health play? check. I'm actually, um, I'm actually I'm, at green, by the way. I'm not doing bad. I'm doing pretty. Uh, bad. What's the spectrum again? Yeah. Fucking green, good, mm. red, bad, yellow, mediocre. Uh, orange. Boy, you, you should know be. I just said green, good, red, bad, yellow, mediocre. And orange is in between orange. red and yellow. Is it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you get when you mix red and yellow? <laughs> All right. To be fair, I I don't know. Colors That's your out. primary colors mixing with. I'm yourself. colorblind. I'm colorblind. Leave me alone. I'm color illiterate. I'm color illiterate. That's right. orange. So why are you orange? What do you, do you want to give us a little, orange? a little bit? Uh, uh, a little bit onto why you feel orange. Outside. That's a start. Fucking Californians. Well, we're on fire what right is it? now. What is it? Sixty-two. <laughs> like, like <laughs> actually it's 55 no bullshit wow. huh? oh never mind it's actually 90 well no what is the actual weather today it's actually 90 right now it, is what, it actually 90 yeah that's bullshit what no, I'm, yeah i'm serious i just checked it's 90 right now fucking 90 no. it's 79 that's cold that's fucking hot as shit. It's seventy nine and thousand oaks, so it's seventy nine. That's thousand oaks. We're so we're not uh, there. I I'd rather not give our address we're, out. We're a little bit on, like uh, to the left of that, but we're close enough. It's all the same temperature. It's all the same temperature, boys. Imagine a world yeah. where it's seventy nine degrees and you go. It does say it's going to go up to ninety on Monday, though. Dude, it's like ninety constantly. I'm in Houston. It's October. We don't know what below 90 is, all right? But point being, it got cold. And all right. You don't like the cold? No, I enjoy the cold, but the cold is... uh. It doesn't enjoy us. It's it's honest congestion, it, yeah. all that stuff. Oh. No, no, not even that. It, it debilitates my mind that I don't prefer. Does... I'm a red. I'm honestly red right now. Oh, You're red what's... right now? What's going You're on? feeling red? red? Was it because of that uh, test today? Yeah, I, I scored the lowest grade on a test because halfway through, I, I felt horrible. And so he doesn't let you, like, use the bathroom or anything. You have to finish your test first. So I, I literally, halfway through the test, just stopped, uh, put random answers, and went straight to the bathroom and vomited. 
and I scored the lowest grade in the class. I, uh, I got you leave. should you should have just fucking thrown up and been like, don't yeah, know what to tell I you. Yeah, I would have dead I would have just puked on his paper and been like, damn, bro, I, really, I guess I really should have gone to the bathroom, huh? Well, you, it's really you can't bad. do that in anatomy, really. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, oh, it's, yo. it's natural functions, bro. That's anatomy 101. Well, <laughs> have you ever asked the chat what their um their spectrum is? No. Yeah. We can go ahead and ask. I mean, the reason I don't, I feel odd asking the chat stuff because I don't have it set up where it shows the chat on the stream. The, and so when I stream. upload it to YouTube, it's like nobody can see what we're asking. Uh, but it's... Okay. So we'll just have to. Okay. I yeah. see. Uh, but it's fine. We'll 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 say so, what they put. So, Paul, Paul, what are you right now? I'm like. I'm in between green and yellow. I want to say, um, I've been I've been pretty fucking sick, you know. Um, but at the same All time, that. things aren't necessarily bad. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. No, to be honest with you, I get you. Um, I'm actually. I think I'm starting to go more towards the red recently. Uh, the red and the yellow because I got so a text orange. today. I got a text today from my ex, and is it the goth girl? Yeah, one? the really hot goth yeah, one. Goth. Yeah, you really let her go. I, I know. Like All right, I get it. I fucked up. Let me live. Hold on. Oh, wait, hold she on, texted hold you. So what's the news? Uh, she's lesbian now. Um, oh fuck's sake! Uh, <laughs> All right, oh. I have a topic. I like. <laughs> Hold on, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> wait. Wait, Hold wait, on. wait. Let me finish. Um, she wasn't, she isn't, hang on. I misspoke. She told me when we first started dating that she was bisexual. And I was like, all right, cool, whatever. We're dating. And then I fucked up and broke up with her, which we all agree is a stupid mistake. I fucked yeah. up. I did an oopsie. Um, but in my defense, I thought it was the right decision at the time. Get off my back. Um... So she texts me today and is like, hey, haven't talked in a while. I just saw your messages, like, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, all right, cool, fair enough. Um, but she's like, yeah, I'm trying to get back into dating and, like, all this stuff. And I'm like, oh, shit. In my head, I'm like, yo, this is a perfect opportunity for me to try and, like, you know, get a second chance and not fuck it up this time. Uh, and she's like, uh, yeah, no. No, thanks. And I'm like, Damn. I mean, that's Why fair, but damn. And so it's like, I don't know. I, I can't really be sad about it because it's like, I definitely had the opportunity and blew it. Uh, and I definitely did get wrecked as people in the chat are putting it. Um, All right. Can, can uh, I begin now? Can I begin? <laughs> yeah, but I'm hesitant, but go ahead. Yeah. Why what is... is it that every time... I find someone I'm attracted to. They end up lesbian. All right. Well, that went a much you, softer direction than I thought it was going. Wow. Yeah. You you I'm reacted just tired. Because you're a little tired. slow, mate. I'm just tired. Oh, what the okay. fuck, dog? No, no, no. When I say slow, I mean he doesn't pull the trigger to ask them out. Hmm. <laughs> now, is that what? true? I feel no. like that's not how that that's comes not off. Even the fucking case. That just happens that they're. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't understand. Uh, I just don't understand. Maybe that's your type. It's, You're only attracted yeah. to lesbians. That's the worst curse I've ever heard of. <laughs> oh my god. Well, no, it's, it's... I mean... Do you know they're lesbian when you start going after them? I or? mean, obviously no, not. No, I don't. No. Well, dude, I, I think on it. Where do you live? What state? Not the area, but what state? California. California. Mm. The southern fucking I mean... end. <laughs> LA. You Look, can it's, uh, it's LA. LA, bro. Yeah, bro. You're fucked, bro. You just gotta, you just gotta keep throwing the fish out there, bro. Keep, keep trying to. Are you on, like, Empathy. dude? You know what you need to get, Connor, because you're a good-looking dude. Oh Jesus. No, deadass. You're a good-looking guy. You gotta get on Bumble, bro. All right. Fuck what Tinder. Is Bumble. What's Bumble, dude? Okay. So it's like Tinder. Like a sponsorship. <laughs> no, no, it's like Tinder, but the women have to text you first. Bumble <laughs> is so fucking good, dude. All right, like, like this will lead. This is this is my segue into Tinder. Uh, <clears throat> so all right, knows. all right, I like this segue. 
Bumble is so much better than Tinder in every way. Uh, because, first of all, it's not constantly asking you for fucking money. Like, <laughs> and sure. it's not just hookups. And it's not just hookups. Like, because, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's definitely still hookups on there because it's like, what dating app doesn't have people just looking for hookups? Like, fair enough. Um, but it's just. It's, there's just something better about it because you know what you're getting into as a guy when you get on there. Because it's like, <clears throat> women talk a lot about being ghosted and stuff. And, like, that definitely happens. And it's fucked up when you're ghosted. But, like, girls definitely ghost dudes a lot, too. It's fucked up when anybody ghosts anyone. Don't ghost people. Just tell a motherfucker uh, you're not interested anymore. Um, yeah. And, like, this, this hookup culture that we see on, like, places like Tinder and shit are honestly just real fucking scuffed, man. Like. It's always about <clears throat> fucking right. hookups. I'll look it should into be that. about them relationships, you know, and like building building fucking yeah. bonds with people. Dog. That's the person who actually has a good relationship. With right somebody's now. fucking body, dude. That's like yeah, fucking it's so easy for you to say, Polar. Yeah, you actually Shut have a fuck. good relationship. No, but they they have a point, Polar. It's like it is. Right. It, I had I had a time where I was on Tinder and had to experience that shit too. No, we're not saying you didn't though, but we're saying that it's like it you worked out, my man. You got the you got the catch, you know what I mean? Like yeah. you, I did get a catch. I mean like I had fucking I'm a very lucky person. It's true though. I'm I'm, very kind I'm fortunate as hell. Yes, dog. I do consider you lucky. Yeah, you're very lucky. The lady no, she watches these right? podcasts too. So I know. like, we got a hype. Um, she watches these podcasts. Yeah, she yeah dude. Oh, she Jesus. asked me. She's like, "Yo, when when's the next podcast coming out?" I'm like, "Oh, I, it makes me, oh sweet Jesus!" It honestly <laughs> makes me so happy when I find out anyone watches my podcast. Like, it fills me with joy because I work really hard on these. Like, I know it seems like I don't, but I do put genuine effort towards this, uh, and it. it it makes me happy when people like it. That's why I'm I'm really pissed off that the person who's supposed to be doing my art still hasn't done art, so I keep using K's. Which is fine. It's good. I just would prefer the art I have sketches of to get done. Hmm. And I'm gonna throw hands with him. He knows who, who he knows who he is. Uh, but yeah, go go on, keep talking about the honestly, I don't know. Ten I don't know. Tender is fucked up. I hate that. Tender's fucked up. I think it's. If you ever have an opportunity to use something else, use something else. Yeah. Use um. Absolutely. Tender's fucking shallow and. Do you think it's an addiction? What, that people Tinder? have gotten into. I no, think in people swipe on Tinder, can like a lot of people just swipe on Tinder because it's fun. Like, um, some girl that lives in my dorm building who literally has been dating this guy for like. A long ass time says that she just got a, a fucking tinder to swipe on people i was like bro what the fuck that's twisted yeah like that's how i see it i see that, that as fucked but that's fucked yeah, because she... like i use tinder right i used tinder let me rephrase that i used you know i used Sorry. tinder to try and find someone to go on dates with but then what would piss me off is people would use tinder to be like uh yo i'm just looking for like friends and shit it's like Bro, I was going to say that. That ain't what this is for. <laughs> yeah, I'm just looking to make new friends. <laughs> that's why I like yep. That's also why I like <laughs> Bumble cuz when you download Bumble it's like, yo, are you looking for relationships, friends, or like business connections? And it's like, and I was a little shocked. I was like, business connections, that's kind of dope, but I was like, I'm here for friends and relationships. And it's like two separate kind of like swipe tabs if that makes sense. Okay. So it's like, I like it. I think you should check it out, Connor. I think it's really cool. And you're a good-looking guy, so you'll get, like, tons of girls swiping on you, my man. Hey, can't hurt to try it. Can't hurt to try it, and it's real simple. Uh, like, uh, sponsor me, Bumble, please. I'm desperate. Please. I already subbed you. <laughs> you're not Bumble, are you? <laughs> are you? <laughs> are you? Thank you, uh, by the way, everyone, for what watching What else is done about It means a lot to me. Don't forget to subscribe if you have Twitch Prime. It's free, and it gives me money. Oh. I gotta chill out somehow, dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's true, it's true. Ugh. I'm honestly ever, shocked, Connor, you, you don't have a girlfriend. Gone on a Tinder date? I'm shocked that Connor I have doesn't not. have a girlfriend. The one girl I messaged on Tinder said she was into memes, and then when I mentioned a meme, she had no idea what the fuck I was talking about. Nope. Uh, Get like, out of here. You're a liar. Fake fan. 
Honestly, all these girls, I love memes. No, you don't. You don't know shit about me. You don't fucking clearly, no, clearly, no, clearly, no, you ain't browsing Reddit, dog. Yeah. What the fuck? Clearly, <laughs> no, you aren't browsing Reddit. I, I'm being <laughs> like, 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 very sarcastic. You... Like, like, I just think I just so, thought that was annoying because I was like, and I just was stupid. Have you ever actually gotten a date on Tinder? Yes. Kind of, what was that like? Not myself, no. Yes. Okay, what was it like for you? So I, I matched with the, the goth girl, the one who I broke up with. The, um, oh. So, but you know, oh. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you how it went. So I, I matched with her. We talked for a few days. And I was like, hey, um, you're really fucking awesome. Like, you're really funny, really pretty. I would love to take you out. And she goes, yeah, sure, I'm free this weekend. Where do you want to go? And so I take her to this place um, called BJ's. Uh, because yeah, it BJ's is a good I'm restaurant. I'm with BJ's. Uh, because it makes me laugh the name and because I love that fucking restaurant. <laughs> um, of course. It makes me Later, laugh McBride. the name. Later, McBrud. Oh, <laughs> thanks for coming and hanging out. Um, and so I take her on the oh, date. McBride's leaving. Shit. And after the date, it's like we basically just like hang out for a bit um, and we leave. It was a good first date. Nothing like exciting happened. And I'm like, but well, that was really fun. I would love to do it again. So we go on the second date. And we go and see like a horror movie or something, something I didn't want to see because I'm a pussy and I hate horror movies. No relation, yep. mood, no, mood. no relation to me being a soft boy. I just hate horror movies. Um, yes. Don't like them. And so I basically just spend the whole time like hanging out with her and like holding her and shit, which is like the only reason you'll ever catch me at a horror movie. Um, and then we went back to my place and like that was the date basically. So I mean I've had. I've had good luck going on dates from Tinder. I've had bad luck. Is that your only example? Yes, but hear me out. I've had good luck <laughs> on that date, a... but I've had bad luck getting dates from Tinder, if that makes sense. We all have. Maybe. Well, not me. All right, shut up. I, I, I've never well, been. I mean, Artique has an arranged marriage, all right? Hey, why, why you I... got to go there, mate? <laughs> I'm, I, I don't know if that's my bad. I don't remember my if that's bad. real or not. Is I it? don't know if that, I'm my bad if that's over the line. I was I was trying to tease. I don't know if that if that is uh, Partique, is that real? Uh, yes, it's real, but no, I don't want to accept it. Damn. We'll, we'll get you out of it someday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the boys go on a heist. <laughs> it's a side quest. But it'll oh eventually... no! This is a main quest. What are you talking about? You're a good friend. <laughs> it's a main quest, yeah. Main quest. <laughs> it's not a. Nobody... So where's the progress then made on it? Ooh, oh, uh, uh, we're still putting the plan together. Yeah, we're still putting the plan together. <laughs> Dog, I gotta level up before I save your ass. Exactly, dude. We gotta we're level up. So... Yeah, this is like a level ten quest. We're all gonna move to Canada together. I'd be down. Yo, I'm I'm actually fucking down. I'm basically in Canada now. Dude. I know, right? I would, I would love, love to move in with you guys, like unironically, because I think all of you are are like respectable enough to That's get a good. real job and like we actually help. pay our rent. <laughs> yeah, like actually pay your rent, and it's like all get jobs up in Canada and just yeah. move up there, and get the a people... big, big cheap house, a lot of land. Honestly, yeah. dude, you guys should move to Houston. It's like land down here is way. I'm cheaper. never. See, the thing about the difference between Houston, Houston and Canada is it's hot. You're right. Yeah. I could move to Canada, but I'd have to get. Yeah. We'd have to all get visas and like like move to Canada. I don't think it's that hard to get um Canadian uh, visa. No. Yeah. They, they let visa. refugees in all the time. Yeah. Can, Canada we, wants more people. Are, we're running from Trump's government. Are we we're not refugees? running from Trump's government. I would be. <laughs> we're running from. Run from the fucking annoying orange. He oh, got thank elected. You. Thank you for the follow, little commie. I really appreciate it. That's my fifty one follow. Thank you got, for following. I got, also, I got a follow from... to to make their follow move up. Wait, did you did you subscribe to me before you followed me, Connor? Yes, I I subbed to you. Yes, before I followed you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're subbed. I'm yes. sub. Yeah, he subbed to me, dude. Yeah, well, where's your sub, Polder? Is a sub. I don't have a card right now. All right. <laughs> I don't, don't. I'm gonna I'm gonna get emotes made for you guys. Probably some that look like uh, little commies because hers make me laugh. Um, Can I get a wizard one? Yeah, I'll put in a little wizard hat for you. Oh my god! Oh, that's gosh, such a good yes. idea. I'll make them D and D themed. That's such a good idea. Oh, it'd be great. I love that idea. 
But Connor now is just gonna spend all day on Twitch because he's got a fucking emote now. Also, Kami, are you hosting me right now? Hmm, questions, questions. Hosting. Um, but no, if you guys are I, people, people down here have asked me to move into them, like into um, apartments with them and help pay rent. And I, I am like, I am not so doing that see. because you guys are fucking monsters. Like, you guys are creatures. Yeah, that's creatures. what Justin has a problem with right now because of his hey, no two name other calling. Roommates. No name calling on stream. We're not name calling. Name what are you calling. talking about? That's an alias, you re. That is an alias. That is not his real name. Yeah, okay. Connor, I Justin, Zach, Drew. Just standard names, okay? Here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So okay. this kid Justin, who we know, actually has that problem because he has two really shitty roommates. I thought, I thought, I thought that Crumb was one of his roommates. No, I'm not one of his roommates. Oh, I thought you moved in with them. He he declined the offer because of the other yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. I, I the <laughs> that was smart. I can tell that was a smart thing you did. Yeah. Yes. So his other roommates aren't paying rent, huh? One is it? Uh, it's a whole situation. Yeah. I mean, One you, can, you can yeah. you can stand there and tell me it's a whole situation, but what the whole situation boils down to is they ain't paying rent. No, no one no, isn't no, paying rent, and both of them pay. are like pig. I want to say because everyone is paying rent. Uh, one of them is paying a lot less rent. <laughs> yes, but he's still paying what he was asked, so that is not a violation of anything. That's fair. As long as if he is, if he is paying right. the rent, he will. I gotta get going. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and call it here because we've been going for uh, a solid amount of time, uh, about an hour and a half. I'm I'm about to head out. Um. Thank you all for yeah. coming to the podcast. Uh. Please don't forget to follow me if you have Twitch Prime. Please sub to me because I'm desperate for your money. Um. Thank you all for coming. This will be uploaded to YouTube. So if you've missed any part of it. Uh, go and follow me on youtube.com uh, forward slash uh, softboy social. Uh, there's also a link to it below me uh, in the about section to the left of the giant pug. Right. Um, go subscribe. Go, go subscribe, to this please. This channel, not my channel. Sub to this channel. Thank yeah. you. We'll keep doing this. We will. We will keep. No, doing we're gonna this. keep. We're gonna keep doing it anyway. Yeah. It. Even if I have zero viewers. Remember, I'll be Twitch. Here. If you have Amazon Prime. Twitch Prime subs are free with your Amazon Prime membership. Thank you, my man. Thank I'm going to put that so in a voice So make sure to I'm going to put that in a voice recording. Give us your Twitch time. Prime subs cuz it won't cost you anything. That's true. All well, right. Yeah. I'll see y'all later. See ya. Thank you all for coming. You all have a fantastic fucking day. Yeah, you too.